Chair, I think, you know. Love is now more confused than we ever were. <laughs> Seriously, for the public looking in here, we're trying to do a job. And I feel like with these committee members, we're nearly living together. We've been at this for so long. <laughs> and it's actually now more confusing than it ever was. I've gone through every documentation up and down, in and out. And I have to say, like I've had six or seven members of the media on to me in the last 20 minutes saying, we've had these documents for a good while, these new documents that we haven't even seen. I still haven't even seen them. Oh, they've been WhatsApp to me by half during... Because I've asked, I've asked the staff to go back through this, okay? And the emails... Just the hold emails my clock, the, please. Hold my clock, will you? Yeah, I've the emails of the 19th, 19th of April, the 3rd, 4th and 5th of May were received and circulated on Monday. The email of the 25th of April hasn't been received. Yeah. That's... That's the one I'm on about. Okay. That's, that, that's, that's kind that, of a critical one. Let's just clarify that. That's, that is the critical one. The email of the, tw uh, of, of, this is the email of the 25th, which I read out today, Chair. Yeah. Yes. And again, uh, Deputy Kelly, I would apologise that that has been brought today. Okay, yeah, but can yeah. I just say this? It's, yeah. it's like saying, you know, you provide a car and you forgot the engine. Like, it's, it's a pretty, pretty critical component. If an FOI officer did this inside an estate organisation, now they'd get, you know, to be a, be a big issue. This isn't good enough because it's a critical component as regards the evidence. We're trying to build on evidence that we've seen across multiple committees, and I'm even looking at the media committee to see issues because uh, it crosses over here all the time. And this critical document would change a narrative in your thinking, and you didn't provide it. And yet half the media in Ireland had it before it was inside in this committee. No. Are you referring to the, 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 the email has not been circulated to the media from D Forbes, from no Well, wherever we circulated it, the email from the 25th that's now coming in here is out there and wasn't in here. I need to move on because I'm I on the clock. Well, I don't know how it's possible. Right, I usually look for a whole pile of information, so I'm going to list off a whole pile of things I want to do and have a few questions. So you can take these down. Firstly, based on today, and I only decided this a few minutes ago, Mr. Backhurst, by the next uh, committee meeting, because um, we don't know when that'll be, but I want you to write out a chronology of what has happened with documents backing it up in this situation, as your view as the Director General from 2017 until now, chronologically, and sign it based on the messing that's going on here today. Okay? Sorry, yeah, you want it from me personally? Yeah. Well, you're you want DG. I'm you DG. You as the representative of the organisation. DG, that's yeah. the first thing. Second thing is, um, the, I want to know, is there been, I want you to go back to the Friday and Saturday night shows, back to when Gay Bourne was in place. And was there any other deals on Friday or Saturday night flagship shows with anyone else ever? Second sorry, can I, sorry, just clarify, deals, what deals? Deals with, in other words, anything that would in any way resemble or be in any way equivalent, where there was uh, side deals done with uh, advertisers who were sponsoring so, so the show. So any side commercial deals? Is yes, what okay. and were okay. they agreed by RT management to allow yeah. that to happen? Pension top-ups, there's 13 people with pension top-ups. Uh, we want to know who they are, we want to break it down by executive versus presenters, etc., because we don't have that. Fourth thing, barter account, credit cards. Want who had credit cards, who was uh, making the payments off the credit cards, etc. Going back to the list of, uh, bar uh, going back to the, the, the barter account details you've already provided. Fifthly, talent agent lists. The providers with lists, we can't correlate who's with who. Which talent is with which agent? Um, because Mr. Kelly gave us evidence, in fairness, he gives evidence about the amount he has, so I think it's only appropriate we find out who's represented who, because from a transparency point of view, I'd like to know, I think we'd all like to know. Um, I disagree with you as regards the name of the person who sent the email saying, don't put a name on that. I think you have to give that information. I'm sorry, it's too critical to everything else. Um, in relation to, uh, I've gone back to roles advertised. When Mr. Lynch, when you joined RT, was your role advertised that you joined RT for, yes or no? Uh, no, because okay, I was appointed fine. by the Director General. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't advertised. So there seems to be a tradition here of a lot of people who end up in senior positions. So go back to 2000, and every person who's been appointed a senior manager or executive role, 
everyone, was it advertised, was it not advertised? And if it wasn't advertised, who made the appointment? Full chrono chronology in that. Reed O'Keefe's exit package, which a lot of us have received, you know, correspondence of. Um, who was on the executive board at the time that's in this room when that package was done? Were you, Mr. Collins? When it was paid, I was on the executive when board. When it was agreed? When, no, not when it was agreed. I, now, can I clarify? I knew nothing about that package. Reader never explained That's anything fine. about it. I accept your evidence. General I accept your evidence. I accept it. Yeah. No problem. So you were on it. I was. Yeah. Right. So you agreed it. Because uh, according... Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. As I said earlier, the first time I found out that Miss O'Keefe had exited on through the VEP was when she stated it last week. Well, then there's an awful big problem. Because according to the actual scheme, which I've read, page six of it says that all members of the executive team have to sign off on it. And you were on the executive team. Correct. That so, is absolutely factually correct. So how correct. did you not sign off on it? never came to us for sign-off. So I think, Mr. Yeah, Backer, yeah, that yeah. needs to be absolutely investigated. I, I'm running out of time, so... No, so I, can I, I just say, this is, this is an issue that I take very seriously, because and this is exactly about bringing I know. significant decisions to I know. the executive okay. or to the leadership team. I know. And remember, I want one of my minutes back because you took a minute off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the, the, but I, I want you to investigate that, but I also want you to do the following. I want you to go back and see, was there anyone else who finished up in RT, who got a package similarly where the post was not suppressed. And remember, as part of the VR scheme, as read, the post has to be suppressed. In the case of Mr. O'Keefe, it wasn't suppressed. So other people left with significant packages were their posts suppressed. And I just want that detail, no more information. Do you want 20 seconds? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry, five no, seconds. I was, I was, sorry, Deputy, I was just gonna say, we are already working on that because this drew to okay, our attention. Good. It was something we didn't good. know and we're going back good. to look at this. Good, good. So there's a list of uh, uh, um, uh, questions which you might come back to us uh, on. Uh, Actual questions. Um, I just one thing. I just want to get off my chest here. Um, an RT, a, a RT presenter last night, who actually is represented by Noel Kelly, uh, started once said, "You know, to take your minds off uh, us, the public, non this nonsensical Arachdus Nuremberg trial." Um, I'm going to play you some Rory Gallagher. I love Rory Gallagher. He's one of my favourite artists. Absolutely, I met him when I was young. Amazing. And that, he, his music would take my mind off a lot of things. How is that appropriate? A person who's been paid by the taxpayer, granted through an agent, an RTE, saying effectively what the Public Accounts Committee are doing here, because it was from another day, is, uh, was to take your minds off a nonsensical Arachdus Nuremberg trial. Answer it, that's all right. Yeah, okay. as long as you're quick because I'm time. I'm, I'm conscious of the clock. Um, look, I don't know the context of it. Well, he put it up and tweeted it and it's I don't, Yeah, I don't know the context of it. All I would say is, is that is not appropriate from my point of view that that is a view from an RTE employee or contractor because the work of this committee has been incredibly important in trying to cleanse okay. this. So. Well, I just wanted, I, I personally wanted to raise it because I thought that was very insulting. Um, and, you know, if anybody else as politicians said something of a similar, you know, what happened to us. Um, I just want to go back to the evidence, um, uh, two, two last questions. Um, the evidence given, and it's for you, Mr. Backhurst, like, the evidence has been contradictory. I can't see how some of the people involved in, who've been appearance in the two committees can work together again. I just can't see it in real life. Right. So Mr. Tuberty said there were seven mistruths. Do you accept his evidence that there were seven mistruths? Um, well, I might turn to... Uh, no, I'm asking you. You're asking me? No, I don't. You don't accept no. what he said? No. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, and thanks for being so direct, I appreciate it. Um, the second part of it is this. Do you accept, he said he took a 20% pay cut. Do you accept that that is accurate, because I don't. I think you can use figures in whichever way you want to use them. And when, when do you say you've taken the 20% pay cut from? What does it include? Um, Look, you know, let's, call, let's call real money, real taxpayers, who's paying what? In totality, do you think it's true that he took a 20% pay cut? I don't want to say he's not telling the truth. All I'm saying is you can use figures the way you want. No, what but, do you, what do you, okay, let's yeah, put it this yeah. way. Do you think it's accurate that there was a 20% pay cut taken by that presenter? 
He took a significant pay cut. That's undoubtedly true. I'm not saying that. I wouldn't want to say yes or no 20% because I haven't got my calculator. Okay. Can I ask you, in relation to the whole uh, payment process, which is the bit that actually, to the general public, finds a complete laugh, this whole situation where there was a, a, an accountancy process whereby RT colluded, and in fairness to the chairperson, she uses the word colluded to deceive, um, in relation to the uh, payment to ASTI, etc. Um, do you think it's appropriate that um, RTE would work with people whereby that is the arrangement that is put in place to pay a presenter? Sorry, which people are you talking about, David? I'm talking about the second payments, the 75,000, which were went through a British uh, company that no one ever heard of. Yeah. Look, Deputy, I think I've been clear on this. I, I find, I, when I heard about those payments, I've, I find it appalling, disgusting. Um, I've no under, idea why anyone involved ever thought that was appropriate. On either side? On any side. Perfect. And there that, was more than one side to it. And, and I, in fairness, I, I lost a minute. Yeah. I lost a minute, come on. One last, last, three, last, one last question. Last question. Um, the, I, and I raised this first, but Ryan Tuberty's current contractual status Okay. Um, obviously, we all know it's gone into abeyance and he went from etc. So, based on the evidence I think it was given to Deputy Barker or Deputy Devlin, I can't remember, and Mitre at this stage, who, <laughs> who, sorry, who, how, like, to everyone watching out there who's small businesses or large businesses, right? Like, so basically now you have to negotiate with him. Even though he's not working, you have to negotiate with him. To pay him something, even though he doesn't work for RTE and we don't know whether he will or not into the future, how do you even start to do that negotiation? And how was it left when you knew that he was retiring, that the contract was not looked at as regards forgetting before all of this crisis happened, that this is where you're, where you're going? No other organisation, no other company, no business can act like that. And this is taxpayers' money. So how, how did this happen, and how can you go forward, and how can you even negotiate? I allow Mr. Baxter, Baxter to, my first answer to that. Yeah, the, the honest answer is, I don't know how we got in that position. It was before my time. That's what I've inherited. Um, I don't think it's satisfactory. I've, I've no idea why we get into this position. You, oh, you're you know, having. Well, we're going to have to reach a, a proper deal through discussion and negotiation. This is only a temporary deal. It is only a temporary deal until we decide what's happening. But we, 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 want, we need to be fair to Mr. Tuberty for the work we, he's doing. Or not. But, but, or, but, or not more, doing. Well, but more than that, we need to actually do what's right for RTE and for licence fee payers. So we, would, we will find a way through that. But it's not satisfactory. I totally agree with you. Definitely got your